morning everybody this is cloud 14 or 15 if you know me from youtube or my previous tutorial expansion forum as you can see i'm setting up a new forum and i'll be updating all my links to towards this forum so you guys uh register here and get the updated uh you know links and stuff and tutorials and stuff and blah 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 it's one o'clock in the morning and i am a bit tired and um just to tell you guys I haven't been making tutorials because I had uh, serious computer problems and also life problems. But now I'm back, which is what I always say, and then I leave. <laughs> but I won't be leaving. I won't be leaving, hopefully. So, as you guys can see, I got a Visual Basic 2010. And it looks the same as 2008. But uh, I'm coming to the end of my trial and now every time I try to activate my visual basics it's asking for like four thousand dollars which I ain't gonna have so it expires in three days in this tutorial tutorial 12 I will be teaching you guys how to use a picture box and get uh, an image from the internet using a URL so first you want to do after your forms loaded put a picture box in your form and then double click on your form to bring up the what I call the code sheet and that's what I'm gonna call it from now on because I can't really remember what I used to call it <laughs> so in here you're gonna type picture box one dot image location equals open quotation end quotation and for now let's just go to Google really quick and search for cat dog I think I used the cat dog before in my previous video. Let's pick this one because this one looks pretty cool. Video image cat dog. And let's paste the URL into the in between the two quotations. Let's go really quick to the form and change the size mode to auto size or stretch. I don't remember which one it was. Yeah, stretch. And then press F5 or press the green button. It should load the image, and there you go. You loaded an image from the net. Um, basically done. Basically done with this tutorial, and I will be also making other tutorials, which I'll be I will be uploading at the same time with this one. So there should be like three more tutorials after this one. And uh, thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully, I get new subscribers, and please remember to go and register on the new forum, as I will have new things in there as well. Um, another note, uh, damn it, what was I going to tell you? Well, I can't remember it, so I'll probably tell you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.